हेलो हेलो माइक चेक हाय समय हाय नीलंजना रेवती हेलो तो टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज विल्सन्स डिसीज दिस इज अर्ली क्लिनिकल एक्सपोजर सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्लिनिकल केसेस व्हिच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर फर्स्ट एमबीबीएस एग्जामिनेशन एंड दैट आर फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड इन द यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन so early clinical exposure in this series see this topic uh, today's topic wilson's disease it belongs to mineral metabolism that is trace element it is related with the copper metabolism it is related with the trace element that is copper just wait it is related with the copper metabolism and uh, this is important case from the trace element that is copper it is important clinical case from the trace element that is copper see the case a 14 year old boy was reported to clinic with chief complaints of jaundice fatigue muscle stiffness tremors and behavioral changes examination revealed an enlarged liver and spleen and kejer flesher ring was noted so here what are the questions what are the sub questions here what is your probable diagnosis which organs are affected what are the causes for the disease and what is the treatment suggested in this disorder so wilson's disease kya hai ye wilson's disease it is also known as hepato lenticular degeneration means it involves liver mainly it involves the liver and lenticular nucleus of the brain liver and lenticular nucleus of the brain it is involved that's why it is known as hepato lenticular degeneration wilson's disease related with the copper excess copper ki matra jab zyada ho jati uh, it causes the wilson's disease it is autosomal recessive disorder due to mutation in certain abc transport proteins it is due to mutation in certain abc transport proteins now see what is your probable diagnosis here here diagnosis is wilson's disease now what is wilson's disease kya hai wilson's disease uh, it is named after the uh, neurologist kinier wilson kinier wilson that's why the name is given wilson's disease it involves liver and brain that's why it is known as hepato lenticular degeneration okay so it involves liver and brain mainly liver and brain that's why it is known as hepato lenticular it involves the lenticular nucleus of brain lenticular nucleus it is lens shaped present in the basal ganglion so it is liver and brain which are involved in the wilson's disease okay now what are the causes for the disease and what is the treatment here penicillin the copper chelating agent is given in the treatment now what are the causes for the wilson's disease so there are two abc transporter important abc transporters which are related with the copper metabolism that is atp atp binding cassette transporter means it is atp 7a and atp 7b they are related with the copper metabolism now remember that atp 7a as a comes first it is related with the menkes disease m come first menkes disease in menkes disease there is mental retardation there is steel easily pluckable hairs steel or wiry hairs are there so this is characteristic feature of menkes disease menkes disease which is due to mutation in atp 7a and mutation in abc transporter that is atp 7b causes wilson's disease causes wilson's disease now what is role of this atp 7a and what is role of atp 7b so atp 7a it is re, re, it is required for this is required for intestinal absorption of copper 
it is required for intestinal absorption of copper and in this disease there is copper deficiency and atp 7b what is function of atp 7b it is required for excretion of copper excretion of copper from liver from liver to bile liver to bile and again it is required for the incorporation into ceruloplasmin these are the two important functions of atp 7b these are the abc transporters atp binding cassette transporter atp 7a atp 7b which are involved in the copper metabolism now atp 7a it is required for intestinal absorption of the copper if there is deficiency of atp 7a it causes menkes disease in the menkes disease there is neuro means uh, mental retardation is there and there is kinky steel hairs wiry hairs are there this is neurodegenerative disorder now atp 7b mutation causes wilson's disease which affect liver and lenticular nucleus of the brain liver is most commonly involved here in the wilson's disease and also there is neuropsychiatric manifestations which are similar to that of the parkinson's disease parkinson's disease there is tremor rigidity convulsions these are the symptoms of the parkinson's disease so similar symptoms are there because of involvement of lenticular nucleus of the brain okay and as liver is involved here and it affect the conjugation of bilirubin uptake and conjugation of bilirubin is affected so there is jaundice so there is increase in the bilirubin level and also this wilson's disease because of copper deposition it causes the cirrhosis in the lateral stages so there is elevated transaminase level in the wilson's disease now see this from intestine the absorption of copper occurs via the atp 7a and if there is mutation in atp 7a it causes menkes disease it causes menkes disease that is known as menkes kinky hair syndrome okay so if the atp 7b mutation is there atp 7b has two important function first excretion of copper into bile and incorporation of copper into ceruloplasmin for this two function atp 7b is required so there is this is autosomal recessive disorder affecting the mutation or mut there is mutation in atp 7b gene so there is decrease production of this atp binding cassette transporter protein and these two functions are affected in the wilson's disease now what is labo laboratory diagnosis of wilson's disease how it is diagnosed wilson disease c there is the gold standard test for diagnosis of wilson's disease is the gold standard test for diagnosis is liver biopsy liver biopsy and quantitative estimation of copper quantitative copper estimation so normal copper is 20 to 50 microgram per gram of liver tissue but in the wilson's disease it goes above 200 it is more than 200 microgram per gram of liver tissue so quantitative quantitative copper analysis is the gold standard test for the diagnosis of wilson's disease the most important screening test screening test for copper is urine copper estimation urine copper estimation 24 hour urine copper estimation is indicative of the wilson's disease then ceruloplasmin level serum ceruloplasmin level ceruloplasmin decreases ceruloplasmin level it is normally 18 to 35 milligram per deciliter so it decreases in wilson's disease wilson's disease along with this laboratory parameters matlab ye to sabse best test hai konsi 
द लीवर बायोप्सी एंड क्वान्टिटेटिव इस्टिमेशन ऑफ कॉपर ये स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट है जो इनिशियल फेज में डिसीज के डायग्नोसिस के लिए करते हैं तो उसमें यूरिन कॉपर इस्टिमेशन एंड सेरुलो प्लाज्मीन लेवल सीरम सेरुलो प्लाज्मीन लेवल इट इज सेरुलो प्लाज्मीन लेवल डिक्रीजेस इन विल्सन्स डिसीज इन विल्सन्स डिसीज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस देर आर न्यूरो साइकेट्रिक मैनिफेस्टेशन विच आर प्रेजेंट देयर एंड इफ देर आर देर इज इफ if neuropsychiatric manifestations are there means neurological manifestations are there there is 99% chance of having the kf ring chance of having kf ring that is kjer flesher ring which is present in the decimate membrane of the cornea around the cornea there is golden brown colored ring due to deposition of co copper that is known as kf ring so kjer flesher ring is 99% is there but if it is not there it does not exclude the wilson's disease remember this so it is present with the neuropsychiatric manifestation and near about 40 30 to 50% cases of liver symptoms liver symptoms of wilson's disease if there is liver involvement in wilson's disease it is the kf ring is associated with 30 to 50% of cases of the wilson's disease so kf ring is also a uh, also an important feature in the wilson's disease kjer flesher ring so remember what are the symptoms of this uh, wilson's disease neuropsychiatric manifestations because of involvement of lenticular nucleus of the brain accumulation of copper in the lenticular lenticular nucleus of the brain there is jaundice there is hepatomegaly because involvement of the liver copper deposition in the liver then there is kf ring that is kjer flesher ring around the cornea that is in the decimate membrane of the cornea then it may present with the sunflower cataract which which shows the radial spoke like opacities uh, opacities in the lens that is the known as sunflower cataract in some cases sunflower cataract okay so these are the manifestations so copper the rd of copper is 2 mg per day it is involved in the non vegetarian and vegetable uh, it is present in the vegetarian and non vegetarian food then the functions it is important for the enzyme it is present in the catalase which is important antioxidant enzyme cytochrome oxidase which is important in the electron transport chain it is important in the ceruloplasmin then ALA synthase which is important for the heme synthesis superoxide dismutase cytosolic superoxide dismutase which is antioxidant function tyrosinase which is involved in the melanin synthesis and lysyl oxidase it is important in collagen cross linking it is important in desmosin synthesis and elasticity of the tissues particularly the aorta the elasticity of aorta uh, so it is important in elastin and collagen synthesis this copper is important because of lysyl oxidase role and because of deficiency the in uh, in some cases there is uh, serious uh, manifestations that involves the aneurysm of aorta because of involvement of this lysyl oxidase which is important for the elastin and collagen synthesis so deficiency causes anemia as it is involved in the ala synthase function serious manifestation menkes disease hypopigmentation because it is involved in the melanin synthesis and wilson's disease here there is copper excess which is deposited in the lenticular nucleus of brain and the liver that's why it is known as hepato lenticular degeneration and in the treatment of wilson's disease penicillamine is given this is this is a drug which causes chelation of copper and excretion of copper chelation and excretion of copper also in some cases zinc is also given okay so this is about the wilson's disease so keep watching the early clinical exposure thank you all of you yes correct KF ring, cornea, decimate membrane of the cornea, ATP 7B, 7A, correct. Here it is 7B, how to remember it? 7A, Menkes disease, 7B, Wilson's disease. So, thank you all of you. This is all for today. Thank you very much.